Maureen Hay Yeshiba once said, failure is the key to success. Each mistake teaches us something. Growing up, we hear the phrase to be yourself, but this same educational system that encourages us to find our own path measures a success based on the four letters of the alphabet. If we continue to teach students that only grades and test scores matter, students will be less likely to take risks in their education and in life. They'll be scared of making mistakes and failing. But what happens if you don't make mistakes? You don't learn. Every scientist would say that no two brains are the same. So why is it that we create a baseline of the same expectations for everyone to follow? Albert Einstein said it best. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it is stupid. If we constantly compare such a broad topic, such as intelligence through one test or exam, then the results will be invalid and misleading. We all are unique. We all have our own strengths and shine in the subjects we are passionate about. Students need to be challenged to step outside the box and take risks, not feel pressured to conform. As Margaret Mead highlights, children must be taught how to think, not what to think. Instead of preparing students to think creatively, innovatively, and independently, we teach them what to think. School teaches us how to regurgitate information that we jam into our brains within a short period of time. You see, there's a difference between school and education. School teaches you how to memorize thoughts, while education teaches you how to connect those thoughts to accomplish goals and have outcomes that exceed expectations. I want all my peers to take a stand with me. We must raise awareness to stand up and fight against the labels that are placed on us based on the letter that is attached to our name in a grade book. From this moment on, do not let the score received on a test ever make you think twice about what you're capable of. I want you to embrace your mistakes and learn from them. Instead of seeing your mistakes as failures, see them as disguised successes. I want to leave you with one last quote by W.B. Yeats. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. We must light our fire within ourselves because change starts with us.